if you hold your finger in front of yourself and you focus on your finger, then anything in the background goes blur. That's what a normal lens do, which our eyes is. So you have a limited depth of focus or depth of field, if you want to call it. But what the engineer metal lens do is you can still see your finger and anything beyond it, so to some extent. So it will extend the resolution to higher depths. Uh, we want to introduce a new category of display that is very comfortable to use for a long time, like for eight hours if it's for productivity. And also at the same time, it can give you other option that a normal display doesn't give you. So my name is Reza Khorasar Najat. So I'm a CTO co-founder at the Brilliant. And in a startup, we are working on the next generation of immersive display. But uh, for VR, even the best of them, uh, average time the person can use them before feeling dizzy and uncomfortable is around 15 minutes. The same go for the AR. They still have an issue of the uh, image resolution, uh, field of view, and the weight is also another constraint. So basically, we can say a new category within AR and VR that you don't need to wear anything on your face. What I'm doing is kind of have a root in the meta surfaces, combine it with another technology that my co-founder, Barma Keshmat, he was at MIT. He developed some other technology for the depth modulation. We kind of combining this together, coming with a new technology. So I would call it in a flat lens that work for entire uh, visible wavelengths and it's free of coma operation. I know it's a little bit puzzling and hard for people that know optics. With one lens, you cannot get around the coma operation and all the color correction. That's the trick that we are doing. A normal diffractive lens focus the uh, shorter wavelengths longer from the lens. If we have a blue, you will have a focal spot further from the lens red would be closer because of the nature of how it is designed and the meta lens is doing the same thing but in meta lens what we have is we make very teeny tiny structure so we call it sub wavelength structure so the structure each building block is really small compared to the wavelengths of the light we also pack them very close to each other which is also wasn't possible before we develop a new fabrication technology for it that can we can pack them very close to each other for example the gap can be seven nanometer so we could break the uh, constraint over the color as i said we could work for the entire visible spectrum we could correct for coma aberration we could even utilize some of the uh, technology for example we can engineer the dispersion of an emeta lens we need a material that is transparent in visible range to use in a building block of metal lenses because you don't want to lose the light to the absorption. You don't want to lose any photons. So that's why we choose titanium dioxide. To make the best quality titanium dioxide, the, one of the methods is called ALD, atomic layer deposition. Basically, very slowly you grow almost single layer Titanium dioxide, the quality is high, refractive index is high, which confine the light again is necessary to manipulate the light and nanoscale. ALD takes a long time, few hours, but there are ALD machines that can accommodate 500 wafer at the same time. So basically, at the end of the day, we want to go to the, the whoever needs an display to do their job, to play, to watch a movie, can use our product.